Hey guys, um, so this is Medicine No Lizard doing another video review and uh, I got really excited so I couldn't wait to do this. Uh, I normally do my videos in the morning or when I have a lot more sunlight or some more light available. So as you see here, this is all about Cosmos G1 series of the Universe line. And yeah, I was looking forward to this guy for such a long time. Uh, I love this figure. Um, I remember having this um, G1 version when I was a kid, um, but uh, I guess the size or the thickness of it didn't really turn me on. But this guy's sleek. He looks like an actual spacecraft, and um, it really amazed me. And then you have all this gibberish on the top, seem kind of alien writing. I'm not sure if it's Cybertron. I'm pretty sure it's not. But um, and uh, uh, the transformation is very very simple. It's almost like a Legends class. We just want to just pull that down. We'll take these parts out to make the legs, basically. It's on a very easily poppable ball joint, which I kind of appreciate. There we go. Then you have this, and you split the arms up top. Then you rotate this entire piece down. And basically, this yellow pin will go right underneath, which will pop up the head on top. If you don't do that, then the head won't go up all the way. As you see, it's kind of jiggly, but um, that's how he's supposed to be. Um, because the head goes up and down. And there we go. Here's Cosmos. He does not have any articulation at the elbow area. It's just curved. Uh, which is okay. You see the huge Autobot symbol and these um, silver vents on either side of his chest. And uh, his head sculpt is kind of bland. Uh, let me try to refocus here. Keep on focusing on the back. As you see, his eyes are not that well painted in. But um, seeing how this guy costs a lot to get these days, it's it's not that bad. Unfortunately, he has a screw hole in the bottom on his waist and he has a weird looking tail and the only way to really get him to bounce because he has no real feet articulation is to bend his legs all the way forward from the knee so um, the only way to get him standing up is having almost a chicken leg but that, that that's okay so there's a uh, Cosmos Autobot and uh, let's just transform him back. Uh, let's go show his backside. Okay. So to transform him back, you could go straight to the arms first. You could lock it in up in front of him. So it looks like a, he has his hands together. Gear rock form. No, not really. Forget that I said that. Okay, so once you pull out the waist, you can actually, the head sinks in. So that's kind of awesome. Then you could lock, then you could rotate this part up. Basically, place that tail part down. Um, you want to rotate the legs so that you see the green hash mark. Then rotate these parts down. So it's almost like the manta ray, but um, okay, let's go continue on with the transformation. Yeah, I think they could easily transform the. Um, if they had to give a beast mode to Cosmos, which would not make any sense, it would be the closest thing would be a manta ray. But there you go, and his US uh, UFO form. I think it's supposed to be a UFO. I always remember it as him being mistaken as a UFO. But I'm not sure if it's a Cybertronian um, transport or something. I know that he was big enough to actually carry people, I think. But um, I, I just remember he was really stocky and really large in the cartoons, but not over here. So very sleek, one of the easily one of my favorites. There's a third party that's coming out with Cosmos that I'm looking forward to, so I could care, compare it with this, and um, hopefully it won't disappoint. So this is Megasnow Lizard signing off. You guys have a great, wonderful day. See ya.